the tares is amongst the wheat. Remember the parable that Christ told on the tares and the wheat? The wheat and the tares? Notice the Lord compare these wheat and tares being together in the same field. Right? So you think of the field as the earth, right? Okay. True. That is true, 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 true. However, I'm about to give you more wisdom. Also, you can look at that same patches with the tares being in the same field with the wheat as right under them. Because if you look at the field with the tares and the wheat, I guess any farmer can tell you this too. Um, you see the tares is right there under the wheat. Not just in the earth itself. Of course, it's in the earth itself, right? But they are right under them. Notice they grow right under them. So that means if these tares are growing right under you, that means they are very close in the same cycle the same they would say out here on earth the same circle so that can mean your family members right up on you you see your family members your friends your colleagues your co-workers that's another terminology for colleagues individuals that seek out and plant themselves right under you and they could come in different ways these tears they could be in the right established organization business with you right there and you don't even know it unless you awaken it to this truth Notice that these tears look very, very closely like the wheat. So that's a physical appearance as well. You see that? Oh, I'm about to bring you some real knowledge. Digging more into that verse. See, these tears have a physical appearance of looking just like the wheat. So that's a physical appearance as well in the scripture. So these tears look just like, we say, yeah, they're real people just like us. No, know that there are not weeds, of course. They are lookalikes and they have something that looks different. So you'll say, well, okay, that's mankind having uh, certain uh, characteristics different than us. Hey, we can tell, you know, we stay enough around them. We could tell who the evil ones are. Yes, it is a spiritual and character thing, but as well, it's a physical thing because the tear look so much like the wheat. See that? But they have something that's a little bit of flawed, you know? Okay, on the tear that makes them a little bit different from the wheat. Why is that? Why is God purring that out? Why did God make it like that on the earth? Because it was purred out of physical appearance that looks similar like the real thing and not. That's your clones, my people. Because all that is given over to Satan get cloned. Oh, I'm bringing you some real wisdom. And that's the truth. The clones are your tares. Because originally they are given over to Satan in these occults. And then they killed them and cloned them. And then they received a new resurrection body just like the Lord going to resurrect you. And give you a new body. Or transform in a new body. However it goes. They are getting new re a uh, rebirth too. Spiritually rebirth as well. That's Satan's form of spiritual rebirth. And these new clone bodies. And then your soul is gone and you become a demon. You see that? And they look just like you. But the spirit is very different. 
that's the real authentic 100% decoding of that parable. Christ bless you.